Hey everyone, MTASH here, and if you haven't touched Trials of the Nine, I highly recommend playing it. In Trials of Osiris for Destiny 1, at times it felt so campy and boring, it was anti-fun. If you were a fan of the channel for a long time, you'd know that I stopped playing Trials of Osiris for an extended period of time, months upon months, because I was so sick and bored of it. Well, Trials of the Nine was a lot of fun this weekend, and I see myself playing quite a bit of it, especially when they have objective game modes like Countdown. The reason why is because even though there are times where teams are hard scoping with Midas and things like that, and it is a little bit slow, with the objective in the game, you can force their hand, which is extremely exciting to me. Because if you run into a team that likes to stay together and hard scope lanes with their scout rifles, well, you can go plant across the map and force them to come to you. You can force them into close range engagements which maybe you're better at or you have a shotgun or something like that. It's exciting. It's very exciting that you can make plays that actually matter in this other than, Oh wow, we got a pick because I was hard scoping that lane! It's exciting to me that there's an objective that actually has some depth to the game. I also really enjoy that you can farm for the gear in this game. What I mean by this is, you don't have to go flawless to get all the loot. Obviously, if you go flawless, you're going to get much more loot, but if you're a dedicated player and you want to get some of the weapons from this game, like the auto rifle, the sniper, or the shotgun, you can earn them. By doing the challenges, you get a pretty good amount of tokens. By playing the game period and getting some wins, you get some tokens. And if you grind it long enough, you will be able to earn the weapons just like everyone else. So if you're not a PvP god or you can't find someone to carry you, if you're willing to work for it, you can get it. Obviously, if you go flawless, you'll get it much, much, much quicker. But I know that there's some people that watch this that are learning PvP. You're trying to get better at the game. You can't always be on Twitch looking for trials carries. So the fact that you can play this at your own pace and grind at these rewards, that's pretty exciting stuff. Now, I also know that there's some people in here that probably don't want to touch it because Trials of Osiris left a bad taste in your mouth. I'm telling you right now, I think Trials of the Nine is much more fun than Trials of Osiris was. I think it, uh, it, it feels like there's better connections for the most part. It's an overall better experience, and I really enjoyed it this weekend. So if you haven't touched it, you're scared to try it, get in there. Go find a couple of friends, play some Trials of the Nine if you can, go on an LFG website, and a looking for group website if you don't know what that is, find a team and just go play. Give it an honest effort, and then let me know what you think. I'm curious to see what you guys think about Trials of the Nine, because I had way more fun doing this than almost all of Trials Osiris back in the day. That's pretty much it for me, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye bye